after a successful freshman campaign, including a team podium finish in cross country, four individual Big Ten titles, and three All-American citations. I was riding a high that seemed untouchable. I was on top of the world. As accolades on the track and cross-country courses piled up, I felt more and more comfortable defining myself in terms of my running. It was my identity, the fact of being who I was. But then it started to take. A small limp erupted into a full fracture in my foot. With the number one team ranking, Michigan women's cross country was supposed to challenge for the national title, and I was supposed to help lead them. For the first time in my tenure at Michigan, I was unable to do what I was supposed to do. Instead, I remained back home in Ann Arbor, my identity torn away from my physical being. I was miserable, depressed, and I hurt those closest to me. I wanted desperately to escape the sadness that overwhelmed every minute of every day. But how could I escape this agony if all I was was running? And I couldn't run. Something deeper, something that would truly make me whole, was missing during this process of physical healing. Flash forward to my junior year. After a brief interlude of relative peace and healthy running, I was devastated once again with another stress fracture in my foot. This time, however, the stakes were higher. I had sacrificed a season of competition with my Michigan teammates for a shot at the Olympic trials. Another thing was different this time too. My friend and teammate asked if I wanted to go to summer Bible study with her. This Bible study was through Athletes in Action, or AIA, a campus ministry program. I joined and learned some pretty incredible things. This new knowledge and community led me to find purpose in something steadfast and unbreakable, unlike running in my bones. By placing my identity in God, I have a safe place to be when running or life doesn't work out the way I hope it will. If my best is not good enough, that does not mean I am not good enough, as I am someone who runs, not merely a runner. These revelations made all of the difference for the injury that barred an Olympic dream. I was sad, no doubt, but having found my purpose, I did not force myself to live every day in misery. I let myself smile and laugh. I allowed myself to enjoy things even though I was not running. By redefining my identity and finding purpose, I redefined my life. You are more than an athlete. You are not alone. We are one community.